Hi, welcome to my video and find the equation of a line in slope y intercept form. The equation of a line in slope y intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, b is the y intercept. So let's do some questions related to that. And again, uh, this is done in the earlier unit and the equation of a line linear. So check out that unit and you will review what we're doing here in coordinate geometry because it's the same uh, concept or ideas. State the slope by intercept of each line whose equation is. So we have equation y equals 2x plus 3. The slope is m. m is 2. And the y intercept is 3. Y equals negative one quarter x minus six. The slope is negative one quarter. The y intercept is negative six. So in this one, we have to move the two x to the right, change the sign, and divide by negative one because the slope y intercept form is solved for y. Y equals mx plus b. So I moved the two x over to made it minus. I divide it by negative one plus plus two. Uh, minus 4, so the slope is 2, and the y-intercept is negative 4. And again, with this one, we solve for y. So y equals 3x minus 6. The three, negative 3x moved over to become positive, and the 6 moved over to become negative. We divide by 6, so y equals 1 half x minus 1, so the slope is one half and the y intercept is negative one so y equals mx plus b now we'll solve this equation 4x equals 8 divide by 4 and x equals 2 so notice this equation y equals mx plus b you cannot there's no y so you can't solve it for y so that means if you think about it or look closer I'm going to look at it right here if you have an equation which is x equals 2 so that means if you take the point x is 2 which is here this is the point 2 0 if you take this point this point is 2 1 take this point this point is 2 2 so notice the x is 2 on this line so when you draw this line what you have is a vertical line and if you do the slope of a vertical line it's undefined so a vertical line cannot go into y equals mx plus b form because it has an undefined slope division by zero so just think of the slope as y2 this is a one oh, this is a two here so the slope could be 2 minus 1 over 2 minus 2. So that's a 1 over 0, which is undefined. And this line has no y-intercept. And the only way it has a y-intercept, uh, well, it has, it will not cut through the axis. It could be the y-axis itself, y equals 0, and but it's not cutting through the x-axis so there's no y-intercept. Write the equation of each line in slope y-intercept form. And again you can pause your video and work these out before I do. So the slope is m is 3, the y-intercept is negative 4, so y equals mx plus b, y equals m is 3, b is negative 4 is the equation parallel to this line so the slope of this line is 5 so the parallel slope is 5 because parallel lines have the same slope b is 6 so y equals mx plus b so y equals 5x plus 6 and c perpendicular to this line so the slope of this line here is negative three quarters so the perpendicular slope is the negative reciprocal 
So it's a negative, so we make it positive 4 over 3. And the y-intercept, b, is negative 7. So y equals mx plus b. And the slope is 4 over 3, x minus 7. So just for great, you have to know parallel perpendicular lines and y-intercepts, etc. Write the equation of each line in slope y-intercept form. And remember the slope y-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. Parallel to this line through this point. So parallel to that line, so y equals negative 2x minus 4. So the slope of this line is negative 2. So the parallel slope is also negative 2. And it's going through this point. So that means this point, this is the slope, and this is the x and the y. So y equals mx plus b is the equation. So y is 7. M is negative 2, X is 3, plus B. So 7 equals negative 6 plus B. So 7 plus 6 equals B. So B is 13. So the equation is Y equals, the slope is negative 2, with the X, plus 13. Number 3, or E part. I say number 3e, perpendicular to this line. So perpendicular lines to this point. So again, we need a slope and we need a y-intercept. So let's solve this equation for y. 3y equals negative x plus 24. Divide by 3. Threes cancel. So y equals negative 1 third x plus 8. So the slope of this line is negative 1 third. So the perpendicular slope is the negative reciprocal. So that's a negative, we make it positive, 3 over 1 or 3. And it's going through this point, which is x comma y. So y equals mx plus b. So the y is negative 1. The slope is 3. x is 4. So negative 1, 12 plus b. Negative 1 minus 12 equals b. So b is negative 13. So y equals m. The slope is 3. And the y-intercept is negative 13. Through these two points, this is, we need a slope and we need a y-intercept now. So we need a slope. So x1, y1. x2, y2. So the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y2 is 6. y1 is negative 2. x2 is 4. Subtract. x1 is 2. So that's double negative is positive. So that's 8 over 2, which is 4. And it's going through uh, these two points. So you can pick whatever point you wish. So let's pick the point 2, negative 2. So I could pick this point or this one. So this is the x and the y of this point. Here's the slope. So y equals mx plus b. So the y is negative 2. The slope is 4. x is 2. Work out the y-intercept. Negative 2 equals 8 plus b. Negative 2 plus 8 Sorry, negative 2 minus 8 because I'm moving it. Notice I let the b stay here this time because if I move the b over, I make it a minus and I'm not going to ever get rid of the minus. So I let the b stay there and move the 8. So that's negative 2 minus 8, which is negative 10. b is negative 10. So y equals mx plus b. So the slope of that line is 4. And the y-intercept is negative 10. So we can check to see if this is true by checking the other point. So if I put x is 4 here, 4 times 4 is 16 minus 10 is 6. Boom, that's the equation. So I work with 2 and negative 2. So that 
if I made an error, then the 4, 6 should be okay, and it is. G, through the midpoint of A, B, where A is negative 1, 6, B is negative 5, 10, parallel to this line. So, let's go through, let's find the midpoint. The midpoint of A, B. We'll quickly find the midpoint, because the midpoint is the average. So add up, very quickly, add up these two. Negative 1, negative 5 is negative 6, divided by 2 is negative 3. 6 plus 10 is 16, divided by 2 is 8. So you can do the midpoint very quickly by getting the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So there's the midpoint. Now we'll work on the slope. So 2y equals negative 8x plus 6, divided by 2, divided by 2. And y equals negative 4x plus 3. So we have a slope is negative 4. So the parallel slope is also negative 4. So we have a slope, and it's going to the midpoint. So this is the x and the y. So y equals mx plus b. The y is 8. The slope is negative 4. The x is negative 3 plus b. 8 equals 12 plus b. 8 minus 12 equals b. So b is negative 4. So the equation y equals mx plus b. y equals, so the slope is negative 4 x and b is negative 4. Okay, so you can check if you see if you make an error. If you put negative 3 in here, so x is negative 3, take the negative 3, put it in here, you get 12 minus 8 is 4, so that point makes that true. Slope is negative 4, and everything works out okay. So let's continue. Write the equation of each line in slope y and z form. Remember, pause the video and work these out. Good, good. Good practice. The more you do, the better you get. Find the vertex of a parabola. Well, we did a unit on quadratics related to the parabola. So this is um, the vertex of this parabola is the opposite of plus 2 is minus 2, comma 3. When you put negative 2 right here, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, so y is 3. So that's the vertex and it's perpendicular to this line. So the slope of this line is two. The perpendicular slope is, that's a plus, so we make it a minus, and the reciprocal of two over one is one over two. So we have this slope passing through this vertex. So this vertex is x comma y, so y equals mx plus b, y is three, the slope is a negative a half, x is 2, 3 equals negative half times 2, the 2's cancel, we get negative 1 plus b, 3 plus 1 equals b, b is 4, so we have a slope, so y equals mx plus b is the equation of the line, the slope is negative a half with the x, and the y-intercept is 4. So that's the equation of the line that has the coordinates of this vertex passing through the parabola at negative 2, 3, and is perpendicular to this line. Now another one, through the y-intercept of this, again, y equals negative, or sorry, y equals x squared plus x minus 2 is a parabola, and also has an x-intercept of this. This is a, a, there's a unit to be done on what we call exponential functions, and this is an exponential because x is the exponent of this, so that's a unit that I will do later, but if you if you have done it, well this is just a review, I, I keep reviewing these units because coordinate geometry is normally done, uh, again, it could be done before the exponential function, or it could be done after, but I always put it in, which is a constant to make sure. I always keep reviewing 
prior uh, units and terms and math concepts. So the y-intercept. So we have a y-intercept. So when we have a y-intercept, we let x equal 0. So we have y equals x squared plus x minus 3. So y-intercept, we let x equal 0. The 0 squared 0 is 0 minus 2. So the y-intercept is negative 2. So that means that when x is 0, we have y is negative 2. That's the ordered pair. And it's through the x-intercept of this exponential. So the x-intercept, so the y-intercept is when x is 0, so the x-intercept is when y is 0. Because the y-intercept cuts the x-axis, so when y sorry, y-intercept cuts the y-axis to the x-coordinate of 0. And when you cut the uh, x-axis, which is the x-intercept, then the y is 0. So we have y equals 2x minus 8. So the y is 0. We want to find the x-intercept, so we make y equals 0. So we have 2x, move the 8 over to the right, make a plus. And 2 to the x, 8 is 2 cubed. So the two bases are the same, so x is equal to 3. So x is 3, y is 0. So now we have these two ordered pairs that I'll put up right here. 0, negative 2, and 3, 0. So we'll work the slope up the line. And the slope is y2, which is 0, minus y1 over x2, which is 3, minus 0. So that gives us double negative is positive, so it's 2 over 3. So the slope is 2 over 3. Now we need, the, we have the y-intercept, so we don't have to go and look for that. So the y-intercept is right here, so that means that we have b is negative 2. So we got this slope, y equals mx plus b, so y equals slope is 2 thirds, and the y-intercept is negative 2. Because the y-intercept is the b. There's the equation that uh, passes through the y-intercept of this parabola and the x-intercept of this exponential. Now, if you had to graph those, that would be more work, but we're just solving them, trying to find the equation that passes through these, this y-intercept and x-intercept. J, through the negative x-intercept of this quadratic, again, this is a parabola quadratic, and parallel to this line, so, x-intercept, so an x-intercept, an x-intercept is when we let y equal 0. So y equals x squared plus 3x minus 10. y is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic that's factorable. x squared is x and x. The fact, the product is negative 10 right here. The sum is 3. So what factors of 10? 1 times 10, 5 times 2. What factors of 10 will give you a 3? 5 and 2. And the product is negative and the sum is positive. So 1 is plus and 1 is minus. And so that means we've got a plus 5 and a minus 2. Multiply. 5 and negative 2 is negative 10. Add this 3. Or if you do the FOIL on this, you'll come up with this trinomial. So that means x plus 5 is equal to 0, or x minus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 5, or x is equal to 2. But it says the negative x-intercept. So that means we're looking at negative 5, 0. We're not looking at when x is 2. We're looking at the negative x-intercept, which is this one. Parallel to this line, so we have... 8x plus 2y equals 6. 2y is negative 8x plus 6. Divide by 2. y is equal to negative 4x plus 3. And the slope of this line 
y equals mx plus b, the slope is negative 4. Parallel lines have equal slopes, so the parallel slope is negative 4. So we have this slope, and we have this point. So if this is the point of negative 5, 0, as it passes through this x-intercept, so y equals mx plus b, and so this is x and y, y is 0, m is negative 4, b is, sorry, x is negative 5, and we had to find b. Again, y is 0, m is negative 4, and x is negative 5, so 0 equals 20 plus b, so negative 20 equals b. So we have the slope of a negative 4, and we have the y-intercept, so y equals mx plus b. So the slope is negative 4, and the y-intercept is negative 20. Hopefully everything is going okay. Just reviewing the slope y-intercept forms of lines that are made up of different concepts. Again, passing through points, passing through vertices, passing parallel, perpendicular, etc., etc. Number three. Find the equation of the line and slope by intercept form through the point of intersection of the lines y equals 2x plus 1, y equals x plus 4, and the y-intercept of this exponential. Okay, we have, we need the slope by intercept form, so y, we need y equals mx plus b. We need the slope and we need the y-intercept. So it's passing through the point of intersection of these two lines. So let's take y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals x plus 4. We want to find the point of intersection. So both of these equations are solved for y. That means that 2x plus 1 is equal to x plus 4. 2x minus x equals 4 minus 1. x is equal to 3. So if x is 3, that's the x-coordinate point of intercept. So we take the 3 and we can sub back into either equation. This is the easier one. So we're subbing 3 in the place of x. So we get y is 7. So the point of intersection is 3 comma 7. So that's the point of intersection. 3, 7 is the point of intersection of these two lines. Again, we plug into this one. So let's check. Put a 3 here. x is 3. 2 times 3 plus 1 is 7. So this is the point of intersection. Now the y-intercept, the y-intercept is, y-intercept is when you let x equal 0. x-intercept is when you let y equal 0. So we have the y equals 3x plus 2 plus 1, and x is 0, so we plug 0 in the place of x, sub 0 in, take your time, complete the exponent, 3 to the 2 plus 1, 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1, so y is 10, so the y-intercept, so b is 10, and we need a slope, so if the y-intercept is 10, but the y-intercept is also uh, the point 0, 10. So we need, let's put these two, these two points together. Again, the y-intercept B is 10, that's the, for the line, but the point is x is 0, y is 10. So these two points are going to go together to get the slope. I need the slope. So we found the point of intersection of the two lines. We found the y-intercept converted to a point. And so the y2, 10, minus 7, and 0, minus 3. So that's 3 over negative 3, which is negative 1. So the slope of the line is negative 1. The y-intercept is 10. So the equation y equals mx plus b. The slope is negative 1x, b is 10, 
and instead of a negative 1x, we just put a negative x. More or less understood. Okay, let's continue. Again, doing a variety of questions to help you comprehend or understand what to do. Number four. A is negative 4, 2. B is negative 2, 6. Find the equation in slope y-intercept form of the perpendicular bisector of AB. Let's just draw a little tiny graph and see what we're talking about here. A is negative 4, and let's say negative 4, 2 is there. B is negative, B is negative 2, and say let's say 6 is right there, so there's A, and there's B, which is negative 2, 6. So that's the line going through, or the segment going through those two points. We want the equation of the perpendicular bisector. So the perpendicular bisector is this one. The perpendicular bisector is forming a right angle at its midpoint. So that's the midpoint right there. So what we do, we have to get the midpoint of AB. And again, easy to get the midpoint. We add up the x's, add them up. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. 2 add on 6 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. Remember, the midpoint is the middle of the x-coordinates and the middle of the y-coordinate. So the middle right here, so this point right here, so notice that x is negative 4, negative 2, so in the middle is a negative 3. y is 6 and y is 2, so halfway between uh, 2 and 6 is the 4. So we have a midpoint, now we have to get the slope. So the slope of AB. The slope is y2 minus y1, so 6 minus 2 over x2 minus x1. Double negative is positive, so that's 4 over 2, so the slope is 2. But that's the slope of AB, but the slope of the perpendicular bisector, the perpendicular bisector slope is that's a plus we make it a minus and that's a two over one so it becomes one over two so there's the perpendicular slope going through this point so the slope of the perpendicular bisector is a half and it's going through the midpoint of negative three four so y equals mx plus b y equals negative a half x and plus b, but I don't have the b, so I got to plug the x, y in, there we go, plug the x, y in, I, I have the slope, but I need the b, so plug the y in as 4, x in as negative 3, so 4 equals positive 3 over 2 plus b, so 4 minus 3 over 2 equals b, and that's over 1, common denominator is 2, so 1 divided into 2 is, or we could go, multiplied by 2 over 2, top and bottom, so that gives me 2 times 1 is 2, 8, 3 over 2, common denominator is 2, so 4 is 8 over 2, so 8 minus 3 is 5, keep the denominator, so we have a slope, which is negative a half, we have a y-intercept, which is 5 over 2, so y equals mx plus b. Slope is the negative a half. And the y-intercept is 5 over 2. And one more before we finish this video. Find the equation of the line through these points. The equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. So we need to find the slope. So the slope is y2 which is 3, let's go x1, y1, x2, y2, 3, subtract negative 1, and 2, subtract 2, double negative positive, so that's a 4 over 0. So the division by 0 is not defined, so that's an undefined slope. 
And because we have an undefined slope, we cannot write the equation as an undefined slope. Well, let's look at what we have. We got two, negative one, there it is. We got two, comma, three, there it is. So the line that passes through these two points is a vertical line. And so, a vertical line, which has an undefined slope, cannot be written into y equals mx plus b. But to notice that x is 2. x is 2. So the equation of this line is x equals 2. x is always 2 on this line. Take this one. That's 2 comma 0. That's 2, 1. That point right here is 2, 2. This point is 2, 3. This point is 2, negative 1. So notice on this vertical line, the x coordinate is always 2. And therefore, the equation is x equals 2. x equals 2 is the equation of a vertical line. Remember, a vertical line cannot go into y equals mx plus b because there's an undefined slope. There's what we say, undefined slope. Or some people say we have a no slope. And a no slope is a non-defined slope. It's not a zero slope. It's a no slope. It's a non-defined. So there's the equation of a vertical line. Again, x is 2, x is 2, x is 2 for the equation. And that ends the video on finding the equation of a line in slope by intercept form, except a vertical. Sorry. A vertical line cannot go into y equals mx plus b. So a vertical line is x equals the coordinate of the points that it's passing through. If you like my video, click the like button, subscribe button, visit my website www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content of my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye-bye.